function scat level question number 21 box of x is the greatest integer less than or equal to x if x lies between 3 and 5 what is the probability that greatest integer of x square is equal to greatest integer of x the whole square okay. first let's get wind our head around this symbol so simply greatest integer of 3.6 is 3 greatest integer of 9.3 is 9 greatest integer of minus 5.8 is minus 6. We look for numbers equal to that number or lesser. The first integer we hit, that is the answer. And very simple. So x lies between 3 and 5. What is the probability that greatest integer of x square is equal to greatest integer of x, the whole square? Let's take a bunch of values. Let's take greatest integer of, say, 4. 4 square, the greatest integer of 4, the whole square. Is this true? 16, 16, this works. Let's take another example, maybe integers it works well. Let's take greatest integer of 3.5 square and compare it with greatest integer of 3.5, the whole square. This is 12.25, this value is 12, it's just 3 square, 9. These two are not equal. It is 4, it is equal, and 3.5, it is not equal. We can say that it will be equal for 3 and 5. Now, let us think about this. This is a wonderful question because one part of the starting point is already built in. Okay. This is the square and then we take greatest integer of. This is greatest integer of x. Now, x lies between 3 to 5. Quite simply, I am just going to scroll down a little bit so that we get some more screen space. Greatest integer of x is going to be either 3 or 4. Nothing else. Between 3 and 4, it is 3. Between 4 and 5, it is 4 very simple. So, greatest integer of x, the whole square can be 9 or 16, nothing else. We are practically solving for greatest integer of x square equal to 9, greatest integer of x square equal to 16. Whatever values this can work, we are through. That is it. If greatest integer of x square should be 9, then x square should be between 9 and 10, including 9 but excluding 10. It can be 9, it should not be 10 because if it becomes 10, then greatest integer of 10 is 10. Right? And simply put, if greatest integer of x square is 16, then x square should lie between 16 and 17. It can be 16, but it cannot be 17. 16.99999 greatest integer will be 16. So, it can lie between 9 and 10 and 16 and 17. It can be 9, it can be 16, it cannot be 10 or 17. Remember, we have not yet done the question. We have to find the probability. Right? We found the range of x square. Let us now find the range of x. x should belong in the range 3 to root 10. Purely positive, x lies between 3 and 5. I do not have to worry about x square negative, m and x being negative and all that. Here, x should lie between 4 and root 17. Now, if you look at the question, the answer choices, if you are going to scroll back up and see this, roughly 0.64, roughly 0.5, roughly 0.14. So, this we, we, they are asking us to find out this number. Right. So, x can belong in the range 3 to root 10, root 10 is roughly pi, so 3.16 or something like that. Or x can be in the range 4 to 4 point, it won't be 16, maybe 13 or 12. You don't have to be really accurate here, just trying to get a range. So, x can take a range of 0.16 here, a range of 0.12 here. If you looked at the entire number line from 3 to 5, x can take a, a, a band from 3 to 3.16 and from 4 to 4.12 or 13 somewhere there. So, what is the probability that x can be within this range given that x is within this range? Very simple 0 0.16 plus 0 0.12 by 2, just 0.28 by 2, just 0.14. Look, we have approximated a lot here. There could be 0 0.14, 13, 15, 16, somewhere in that range. Let us look at our answer choices. This one, there is a 0.14, the next number is a 0.36. These are definitely very far away. The answer is 0.14. The answer choices, see, wonderful question because this function greatest integer of x is a wonderful function, sometimes called a a step function or a floor function uh, because it, it, if it, it, the input is any real number, output is only integers. 
It's it, 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 it marks down every number to the closest integer possible. So it's a wonderful question because, because it is discrete. It gives a lot of interesting questions like this where you have to figure out and solve and not frame equations and solve. And that's why it's very exciting. Uh, subtopic inside functions.